Hey, my name's Eric, and today I'm going to show you some must-have tweaks and uh, applications for a new computer. So, let's get right into it. Basically, first open up your browser. Uh, if you just have a new computer, it'll probably be Internet Explorer or um, Safari, depending um, if it's a Mac or not. Anyway, but I'm going to be using Opera, which is another program that I'm going to be talking about later on. Okay, first program it's called WinRAR, which is basically similar to the um, Windows built-in alternative um, called WinZip, but it supports more formats. Um, to do this, we'll just go to rarlab.com. Um, I'll include all the links to in my video description. All right, and then scroll down to, I mean, just click on downloads and get. This one right here, the latest. Oh, that's it. Yep, let's get that one for now. But, yep, might as well just actually, that was the beta, so just get this. We pretty much do the same thing anyway. So, you can either get either one, it doesn't really matter at all. Alright, so then it'll um, install. Just um, run it. I've already got it installed, so there's no point of me installing it again. You get the idea. Now, after you've installed it, I'll show you how to use it and just a little thing you can do with it. Alright, WinRAR, I'll go open it up. And this just shows my latest files and my directories. Um, set it up to read most of your files, and you do this by going to File, um, where was it again? I forgot. Um, file, 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 Options settings sorry integration and then here you can just associate WinRAR with the uh, following file types keep all these um, selected take out ISO and JAR because for ISO we're going to be using a different application called Power ISO we'll cancel that that's all we really have to, what you have to do now whenever a WinRAR file comes up or any kind of uh, zip file you can just use it in this it's much more handy um, yeah, another thing to note is that, um, crap, I just lost my trail of thought. Uh, okay, well, anyway, I'll, when I get back to it, then I'll talk about it. Alright, next, um, program, it's called Power ISO, and you can do this by just doing a Google, uh, I think it's Power ISO.com, I may be wrong. Oh no, here we go. And just go download. And get on this first one right here. And this supports all the your um, image files. This is especially good if you're gonna be burning image files to CDs or downloading image files such as games or whatever else. Just download that and follow the prompts and install that. It's not too, should be too difficult. Then it should automatically associate itself with all the major um, image file formats. Yep, and uh, just coming back to what I was talking about before, WinRAR is technically is, uh, usually used for just unzipping files. So if you have if a file comes up in an archive, you just double click on it and it will unzip, and you can extract your files that are inside it. Okay, now what you want to do, this is especially good for video and audio people, ones that download video or audio and watch it on their PCs, you have to download a codec pack because some modern formats are coded code, coded differently and um, basically your computer might not recognize them or your b basic media player might not recognize them. Alright, so to do this just go to Google and type in codecs, I'll also include the full um, just a link in the description. Click here on the first one that comes up, freecodex.com, right there. And if you go scroll down here, codec pack, there's one called K Lite Codec Pack, which is the most standard and basic one that you're really going to get. And that's the one that's going to support most, the majority of all your formats. Alright, just download it, click it again. Um, download this one right here for your. Oh, sorry, no, not that one, it's the older one. Download this one right here, standard mirror. 
and basically it will download itself. So um, you can just run it straight from it. It will be like a, a wizard. Just follow the prompts and install it. That shouldn't be hard at all. Okay, now what else? What, what else you want to do is close your browser now for now, and increase your virtual memory on your computer. This will help. Um, it will allocate more virtual disk space to your computer, and it will basically allow it to run faster if you put it in simple terms. To do this, you can just go to your computer, right click properties, then you go to performance down here. Well, I'm using Vista, but if you're using XP, you can just go to, um, sorry, don't go to don't click on performance, just click on advanced system settings. If you're using um, XP, you can just right click properties and this thing will come up straight away and you can just click on advanced tab. Then click on performance, settings, advanced again. You can, to speed it up a bit more, you can adjust for best performance. That's what I have set, set up as, but it doesn't really matter. Go advanced and see here it says virtual memory. Mm -hmm. Click on change. Okay. Then it will select custom size. I've already got it set up here. Select custom size and enter probably double the amount of the recommended. So I have a three here. My initial size is six and put your maximum size is whatever you really, really want, like ten. Not a big number, small range. And click set. And that's pretty much there is to it. And now it'll like it will allocate more memory in your common charge. If you're using XP when you go to task manager, it will say right here. It will say comment charge and it will be like however many megabytes over however many uh, megabytes it might be like for example 100 megabytes slash 6000 for example because I just set it at 6000 and hence it will work better ok we'll close that now what else here now we'll download a browser called Opera 9.52 this is much better than your standard uh, in, in, internet explorer and supports way more features and you know it's just much better in the sense that it has it's jam packed with features such as a really good RSS reader. You got your inbuilt mail clients, inbuilt torrent downloads. It's the majority of things you got. It's just much better in security wise and everything else. To do this, just go to www.opera.com. Again, I'll include the link in the description of the video. Download opera.com. And then just go free download right there, and it'll be the latest version 9.52. Or at the time that I'm filming this, there's a new beta out, but I just recommend you download that. Free download, obviously, as usual. It'll start up soon enough. If it doesn't start, just click here. Blah, blah blah. Again, run, install it, prompts. It's fine. Then you can set up your uh, like RSS feeds, and all that stuff for all your favorite websites. And you can do a mail chat client right here by adding new account. This again, this is very similar to Firefox and all the other ones. It's got you, know, you got your widgets, which are like the Firefox add-ons. You know, you've got whatever you need here. But then you got like um, skins. You know, you got like your, I haven't got any better skins at the moment, but you get the idea. You can download that from Opera.com. The last thing. Which I'll talk about, which isn't really that cool, but I found out of it, found out about it today, and figured I'd tell you. Um, basically, if you go to Yahoo.com, if you go to Yahoo.com, usually, or most likely, it will come up with the main um, page with all your news features, categories, your stuff, a bunch of stuff, really. And if you're just looking for a quick web search engine that you don't really want to use but you want to use Yahoo you can type in simple um, URL re like redirected thing I guess I'll just because I've got some hand page and it will just bring this as your default thing you can notice the URL is right there and that's just going to use single Yahoo um, page without any other like advertisements or you got your categories or whatever else see plain page so, um, well, thanks for watching. That's been pretty much about it. I know I didn't go into that much detail, but um, these are just some little necessary programs you should get if you want to just, you know, 
have a better running computer. Um, you should make sure to check out uh, the website www.skateapps.com um, where we provide reviews, tutorials, and any other form of internet stuff. Pretty much, this will be posted on there as well. Um, I'll probably make another one of these in another couple of days uh, regarding you know any of the other things I can think of. But this is all I can really think of at the moment. That's a necessity. Like there's a bunch of other stuff that you could get, I guess. But that, oh, that's up to you. Is that you know? Like for example, you you got like your iTunes, you got Windows Media Player updates, you got um, full speed. This pretty much increases your browser speed. Uh, you got a, whatever really want. And I sh you should get Microsoft Office, which I highly recommend you do for all your stuff. But you know it's up to you anyway. Thanks for watching.